Hi, I'm Reggie with Stupid Racings. In this video, I will show you how to adjust audio in Final Cut Pro. So let's get it on! Okay, for the first method, so go to your timeline and then select your clip. So you have this line right here, this signifies the volume of your clip. You can just drag it down or up to adjust the volume of your clip. Okay, so dragging up increases the volume. Dragging down will decrease the volume. Okay, so this is a straight line, but if you have a keyframe, this line will be curved. Let me show you. Just select your clip and then go to your inspector and then go to volume and then you can see this diamond bottom right here. Just click it to add the keyframe and then if you drag it right here and then we add keyframe. If I drag this line right here, it creates a curve. Okay, but if I drag it in between of this keyframe, it will drag all of it. Okay, if I drag it this one, it will create a curve like that. Okay, okay. By the way, I have a video about how to add keyframes. Just click up in this corner right now to check it out. For the second method, so once you're in your timeline, just select your clip or your clips. By the way, to select multiple clips, just hold command and then left click. Okay, so now I have selected the two clips. If I want to select this as well, I just hit command and then left click. Okay, so the three are now selected. Now let's go to our inspector right here. So the inspector, just click it and then go to audio inspector. So you have your volume right here, but I'm gonna select just a single clip for now. So under your audio inspector, you can input a value right here. This is a decibel. You can input five. So the volume becomes five decibel. Okay. You can also drag the slider right here. Drag it left to decrease the volume or drag it to the right to increase the volume. And then you can also drag it all the way to silence the clip. Okay okay and also you can also drag this number right here you can just drag it down to decrease the volume or drag it up okay or you can also drag it all the way to make it silent once you can see the negative infinity volume right there okay 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 so now i'm gonna select multiple clips i'm gonna select this one and i'm gonna hit command and then left click and then left click to this other clip right here so if a multiple clips are selected if you enter a volume right here on the audio inspector everything will be on that volume as you can see i have a keyframe right here we have negative one and then negative 18 and then we have a four decibel here and then we have a silent video right here if i make it three if i enter it every clip will be three decibel okay so the first clip is now three decibel and the other one is the silent clip now three decibel so if you have a keyframe on your audio the volume will be messed up like so this is three and then negative 18 negative one let's select everything again and then let's make it six so if you have a keyframe on your audio clip the last keyframe will be adjusted to the value entered right here okay okay so just don't select multiple clips including a keyframe clip so it doesn't mess up your keyframe clip okay okay adjusting volume a little bit confusing but i'm gonna take you to this topic okay okay for the third method so once you've selected the clip go to your menu and then go to modify and then go to adjust volume so you have your options to add one decibel or minus one decibel okay. add one decibel adjust volume and then hit down negative one decibel okay and then you can also go to modify and then adjust volume and then silence so it will just make your clip silent okay and then you can also go to modify again and then go to adjust volume and then reset so it resets to zero decibel okay okay and then there's another 
way to adjust volume just go to modify and then adjust volume so you have your absolute so the absolute volume works like this so if i entered a, a value let's make it two so if i enter it the volume changes to two absolute did you get it okay let's try another one i'll make it negative five okay so this is now negative five so i select this clip right now and then if i go to modify and then adjust volume and then absolute if i enter two again the negative five decibel volume of this clip will be two decibel okay so that's how absolute volume works so there's another one this is two right now let's go to modify and then adjust volume and then relative so relative works like this so if i have a value of two right here this is two decibel if i entered a positive value like plus five this final volume will be plus seven decibel did you get it let me show you okay i'm gonna select this again go to modify and then adjust volume and then relative i'm gonna enter five so that's gonna add plus five from the current volume i'm gonna hit enter right now so it will be seven did you get it okay so another one I'm gonna select this and i click modify adjust volume and then relative so i'm gonna hit negative eight this is a basic mathematics so negative plus negative becomes negative positive plus positive is positive negative plus positive is positive or negative okay if i enter negative eight the final volume will be can you guess it it's negative one it's negative one okay did you get it it's a little bit confusing just take time to understand that okay so the relative volume is a math application so if i enter negative again modify and then adjust volume and then relative i'm gonna make it negative five so the final volume will be negative six okay did you get it i hope you understood that principle in your elementary days negative 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 plus 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 negative plus okay if this video has been helpful to you go ahead and hit that like button i would really appreciate it okay so there's another uh, behavior in adjusting volume under absolute if we select our clip right here with we have our keyframe right here and then let's go to modify and then go to adjust volume and then absolute if i enter five all of the keyframes will be deleted let me show you I'm, I'm gonna hit enter now our clip will be five decibel enter okay so the keyframes are now deleted so that's how absolute volume behaves when you have a keyframe i'm gonna hit command z to undo okay and then if you have keyframe and you use the relative volume adjustment this will happen so any value will be added or subtracted from the current volume right here so this negative one negative 18 and then six okay so if you go to modify and then adjust volume and then relative let's make it four so all of our keyframes should be plus four and then i'm gonna enter so the negative one becomes three the negative 18 becomes negative 14 and then the six becomes 10 okay okay so it will not delete all of those keyframes but rather it will add relative to the value you entered okay that's why it's called relative volume okay did you get it i hope you get that principle again for the fourth method for the final method so this is a keyboard shortcut okay so now let's select our clip if you want to add one decibel to your clip select this clip and then i'm gonna hit command equal sign okay so as you can see our waveform is getting bigger and bigger and bigger okay if you want to decrease by one decibel just hit control and then minus okay okay and then the next shortcut is for the absolute volume adjustment select your clip let's go to this next clip select your clip and then hit control option l and then after that enter the volume you want this is the absolute volume adjustment okay gonna hit negative one so our clip is now negative one okay 
Okay, now let's go to the relative volume. I'm gonna select this clip again. So the shortcut is Control Command L. Okay, so we're now on the relative volume adjustment. Let's make it positive four. Enter. Okay, so it's now three. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you understood the concept of this audio adjustments. Okay, okay. Hey, I have a gift for you, a pack of Final Cut Pro plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it's yours free. Click below for your gift.